We want to turn now to a flood of drugs coming into this country at the U.S.-Mexico border. Record amounts of opioids and along with them, deadly consequences. CBS's Janet Shamlin reports tonight from El Paso, Texas. Along the Mexican border, drug cartels are seizing opportunity. We are seeing that the cartels are exploiting um, our current influx of unaccompanied children, as well as our influx of single adults, and they're bringing hard drugs. Border Patrol agent Joel Freeland says U.S. manpower focused on human smuggling is enabling traffickers to move staggering amounts of drugs, including 59 pounds of highly lethal fentanyl seized by Texas troopers the last six months. If that almost 60 pounds of fentanyl had reached the streets and not been stopped, what could have been the result? The result is mass casualty. In a year, fentanyl seizures have jumped 800% in Texas. The drugs coming across the border here are fueling an unprecedented epidemic across the country, the toll of which can be counted in the skyrocketing number of overdose deaths. Among them, 20-year-old Jacob Del Hero of Colorado. I wake up most days in a state of shock. I cannot believe that I've lost a child. Jacob is among the more than 88,000 Americans who died from overdoses in the 12 months ending October 2020, up 19,000 from the same period a year before. It'll live with me for the rest of my life. My wife had to watch as I screamed and begged for my son to breathe. Border Patrol agent Jerry Galvan knows heartbreak like that often starts here. They cut into it and set it up beforehand so they know where they're going to be coming through. As agents say, the cartels use a flood of migrants to move a river of drugs. Janet Shamley and CBS News, El Paso.